I get asked all the time, is there such thing as priority content when it comes to Facebook or any social media for that matter? And the answer is absolutely yes. There is priority styles of content. They're gonna be getting you a lot further. Remember probably about five years ago when uh, live video first came out and it was like anyone who did a live video, they would get tens of thousands of views and tons of people watching because it was a priority format on, on the feed. It's no longer a priority format on the feed. There's lots of other things. And remember, we might have looked, if you were in one of the earlier parts of my webinar, you would have seen that video is by far the stuff that gets the most views um, on the on the Facebook news feed, followed by the formatted text or the, you know, the backgrounds with the text with the big words on it. And the gallery is next galleries of images, two, three, four images, rather than just the one single photo. So if we bear in mind that these are the things that are most viewed, then we've got to understand probably that these are the things that are probably prioritized a lot more on the feed, right? And you would be about right. Priority content is that which brings the most engagement to any sort of social media platform or is created using priority tools. So we're looking at either stuff which is the most engaging or it's using the tools that Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or LinkedIn are bringing in that they think are very high value, high priority tools for them. LinkedIn did this recently. They created stories that were only available on the mobile. They prioritized those to make sure people got a lot more views of them. The problem was that nobody cared about them because so many people on LinkedIn still use the desktop and not the mobile. So very few people were seeing them. They've now taken those away. So stories are no longer available on LinkedIn, but they are available on the, the social social networks, your, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, even YouTube has got a version of stories that they call shorts, which is turning more into what Instagram reels and TikTok is right now. So unsurprisingly, if we look at what the priority areas are for Facebook and Instagram, right now it's short format videos. In, in Instagram, they call those reels. Reels will come to Facebook at some point. They're going to be first be tested out in some groups. It's in the US only at the moment, but it is gradually rolling out to the rest of the world as a test. So reels will be a Facebook reels and an Instagram reels that you can use in both of those. That is by far and above the highest priority stuff on Facebook and Instagram is short video, especially on Instagram reels. That is the highest priority stuff they've got. If you are used to posting videos on face on Instagram, switch over and turn them into vertically oriented reels, because that's where you're going to get even more views than anywhere else. The other one is groups on Facebook. That's where the priority is on Facebook. They're all about connecting people privately in the things they love with the people they feel safe with. So Groups have just taken off out of this world by far and above working better than the reach for pages, business pages, or even social pages. So groups are where it really has to be on Facebook. Then we pop over to Instagram and stories are still performing really well. In fact, stories are now starting to perform better than what the, the Instagram feed is. At some point about a year ago, I stopped viewing the Instagram feed and scrolling up uh, as the first thing I did coming to Instagram. Now what I do, I go straight to the little row of bubbles at the top and I tap on those. That's where I start my journey with Instagram every single time. And it wasn't where I used to go. I used to scroll up through the feed, but now they've made this story so much more um, interesting. And the content that people produce on stories is so much more interesting than the boring selfie stuff that goes on in the in the feed that I just go straight for that. So we're expecting at some point that that will become even more prominent by having two rows of, of stories material before you get to the feed. In fact, it may get to the point where the feed is completely removed and just going with stories and reels because reels are that much important to it. Whilst it's no longer not as big as TikTok when it comes to the short format video, it's certainly a very big part of Instagram right now and will very shortly be a big part of Facebook as well. Overall, what we're looking for and a good move for you as a business owner with a Facebook page is to actually pull back on your posting. We want less posting, but we want more quality. So it means producing less, but doing better with what you are producing. So if you're producing seven posts a week, 
pull it back to three and just make sure those posts are much better than what you normally do. Spend a bit more time on them and spending, spending the time doing seven really, really average posts, do three really good ones. And what do three really good ones look like? Well, that's all the stuff we've been talking about, stuff that gets attention, stuff that follows the customer journey, stuff that understands that people need an emotional connection through to you, not just a sales message. I know that we've been going through, people go through all these sales gurus, these Kerwin Rays and these Grant Cardones, all these guys who've made a fortune out of training people to do things that they do. That's not how algorithms on social media work. Algorithms on social media work with actual people reacting to things. And those kind of tricks that those kind of guys use, I think they come and go so quickly that they need to change all their models so quickly. And they don't. They just keep selling the same, you know, the same stuff over and over again. As someone who actually works with these platforms very directly, I can tell you now that there's no tricks to this. It's just simply following the data and following the suggestions that Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and LinkedIn give you on how to better connect through to people. There's no conspiracy here. There's no secrets here. Anyone who's selling you know, Facebook ads secret courses or any of that, none of that stuff is going to help you to sell more. Just going through Facebook's own blueprint training, which is free, will do that for you. If you're paying for Facebook training, I would suggest you just pull back from it now because it's probably not going to get you any further. You're just going to waste more time, money, get more confused and not really understand what's going to work for you.